Suddenly, a wild seasonal appears. Ah! <laughs> Hey everyone, my name is ACS.125, and today, what I've got here is the approximately 5 inch Diamond and Pearl Sneasel plush. Now, I got this thing quite a while back. Um, to go that far back, we actually have to go to very early 2013 or late 2012. I forget when, but... I ordered this guy off the internet because I saw him on a video series on the internet. And I was like, oh my gosh, I have to get that because he looks so cool. Now, I had seen Weavile before, and I thought it looked awesome. And so I was really interested in, like, this thing's old Weavile family. And so, I bought this guy. And he's awesome. So, let me tell you about him. Material. The material is very soft. I mean, it might look scruffy in the image, but it is actually very nice and feels very nice in your hand to hold. It has those little fur-like things on it, and there's not a single hard part on the plush. There are these sewn-in spots right here, here, and all here, though, which have pretty good stitching, I might add. They're really nice. So, and it's tail. There's three here. Very nice. And, yeah, he's overall very, very well made. Very sturdy. And the material is nice to hold. Design. I really do like how they made this plush. It is very nice. Uh, a lot of the plushes that I see have like humongous heads and little bodies, but I don't really like that too much. I mean, I own a couple of them because I do, but this guy I like more. I mean, there's not really much going on visibly with Sneasel, but they did make sure to make everything here and accounted for. He has his ears, one of which is long here, and I think that the Sneasel is male, because in the games, the little thing here would be smaller if it was female. It has the eyelashes, I think. Maybe they're battle paint or something. I don't know, but they got that. I rarely, rarely ever really think about those. Mostly because I think of Sneasel as a boy whenever I see him. Um, at the gold spots right here. And his nice little smile. And as well, they have his claws on his hands and feet, which I can only imagine are coated in ice as they're white. Other than that, it's just the bone. Which, honestly, I prefer the ice idea. Forgot to mention the three little red feather-like things that make up his tail. Cons or complaints? I have very few warnings or cons with this plush. Um, yeah, the stitching right here, I don't really like how it's not very well done, in my opinion. I mean, it's come off after rough play, but whatever. There are two things I need to go over, really. And they're sort of minor, but they do bug me. Um, the first is, well, right here, on his body, and all around, all around his body, right there. That's where it goes, and it goes all the way down, and it doesn't go into the legs. But there are beans right there, little tiny beans. And they weigh him down, so it makes a little thud noise when he hits the floor. And... Yeah, he probably won't hurt anybody if you, like, throw him at them, but it's still something to talk to a kid about, it, to not hit them with this thing over the head of another kid, but that's pretty much goes as a given for anything. 
As well, the more important Mad Red Hand is his tail. I don't really like how it's made very well, because, yeah, they're just two pieces of fabric that hold together. That's fine, but what I would have liked a bit more is, well, you see, right here, I'm going to show you with you see Larry's hair right here, so this is the Larry Cooper plush, and his hair standing straight up, well, originally was, I broke it, but there's actually a little piece of plastic in there that keeps the thing up. I would have liked that on Sneasel, because that would have made this a bit less of a pain, like them being all like fast, it's really weird looking, but whatever. That's just a very minor complaint for me. Conclusion. Overall, I could say, if you don't have him already, get this guy. I swear to you, he is amazing. He has lots and lots of details. He's very game accurate. Very nice, well made. I don't know the company that made him, but it's probably Nintendo or the Pokemon Company. Um. Now, if you want to know where you can find this guy, well, well, I guess you can find him in one of two places. You can find him where I found him on Amazon, but I don't know if he's being listed as of the time of this video is being posted or not. But there you go. And on eBay, the prices are mixed. I've seen some going for ten dollars. I've seen some going for around $20. Whatever the price, you should definitely get this for any kid who loves Pokemon. I swear to you, they will most likely not be disappointed. I say most likely because not all kids have the same opinion as me, but I have to say that this guy is very well made and I definitely recommend it. As well to all ACS1125 subscribers, uh, the fifth episode of Pokemon Dark Chronicles is coming out soon. I have finished filming, and I've started in on the editing. It should be done by the end of this week. Also, we have a new face coming to town, which I'll be showing off and doing a slight review of when he gets here. So, I'll see you after that. Everyone, have a wonderful day.